Hello YouTube, this is Game Gaming, and today we're back on Pokemon Go, and now I normally wouldn't have put this video out so fast, but because I wanted to do every three levels, I leveled up, I ended up leveling up so fast, because of how many Pokemon and evolutions I've been doing over the past, like, couple days. I thought this video wouldn't go up till like, probably Friday or so, but I actually was able to come out faster, which... The next video will definitely not be Pokemon Go. It won't be a, like talking about it like the last one. All right, so let's get into it. So we caught a bunch of Pokemon because I just went to that uh, the Pirates game last night. I don't know who the Pirates are, they're an MLB team. But we went and got them. Hold up, the music's really loud in my ears. But, uh, so there was a bunch of stuff in Pittsburgh, and almost every single uh, this is not anything new here. So I'm just gonna talk. About. Almost every single Poke stop around there. Because of how many people were there at the time, had a Pokestop. And it was amazing, because the whole entire time, I could just go sit there, but we're just walking down the street, and just random stuff would just appear out of nowhere. Okay, so let's get out of the number thing. I had it in the numbers so that I could, you know, uh, figure out how many times I had to do evolutions. So the most recent ones we caught, let me find. We got a Vulpix. I don't know if I showed this. We got a Vulpix out of an egg. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out where we started at. Alright, this looks about right. Right, right around here it seems right. Alright. So we got, another, we got another Meowth, obviously a lot better than the last one. That was from a incense I used just at home. One day because I got from leveling up, so I was like, screw it, I'll use this. And then I evolved some uh, male Nidorans into a Nidorino. This is my best one so far. The lowest one. The other one I had before was like 100-something. This was 453. It was before some of the new Pokemon I got was actually my third highest. Then we just got some like Paraz, Horsey, Attentacool, Pidgeotto, Magikarp, Nidoran. This Paraz is pretty good. I liked it. The 310. I evolved another... Pidgey into Pidgeotto. I don't really catch so many Pidgeotos. All the ones I usually have are evolved Pidgeys. A Ghastly. Uh, I remember this one because uh, my friend couldn't catch it at the time because his phone crashed. And he was so pissed that he couldn't catch it. Um, we got a Gloom, which I'm pretty sure was an evolved a Oddish. Because I don't think. I never caught one of these out in the wild, technically. Kakuna. A Vino Net. Which we do have a Vino Moth, which I'm sure we'll get. I evolved Bell Sprouts into Weeping Bell, 670, that's pretty good. I'm not even I'm not even worried about the Pidgeotos. Oddish, Jigpuff, an Eevee. I'm the Gasly. Are we going back? No, I just caught more. I got a Goldeen. I believe this one was out of an egg though. I wanna say it was. I got one in the wild and I got one from an egg. Uh because I know I had two five K eggs hatching and one K. Yesterday, and I'm pretty sure this is what we got out of the 5k. I also got an Ekans out of the uh, 5k, which I was pretty excited about because I've never seen one of these. Bell Sprout, Pidgey. I caught a Jinx when, like, as soon as I got into Pittsburgh. Pretty cool. The slut Pokemon. Whoops. Some Rattatatas, Bell Sprout, Oddish Horsey. And here we go. You probably, you guys probably already saw, but. While I was walking out of the pirate game, there was a lure down at the Pokestop at the exit. And guess what Pokemon we caught? Dratini. You don't know how excited I was. And, uh, it's funny, you know, some of my mom's co-workers was there with us, and she plays the game. Not very seriously, but still. And I was like, you gotta get on here right now, you gotta catch this thing, this is so rare. I was so excited. I can't stay on it. It wasn't very high CP, but who cares? I can't, I don't know, I just wanted to move him around. Oh, it sounds gay. But I, w I wish I would have gotten more candies for it, but I realized I didn't get more candies and rehatch them from eggs. But whatever. We did catch a really high bell sprout, though. 349. A crabby. Bunch of drowsies. 317. A bell sprout. Pidgey. Another drowsy. There was like three drowsies that appeared in like literally two minutes of each other. I, I evolved some uh, zoo bats into a gold bat, so it was 631. The internet Clefairy. Psyduck. It was very high, but I really wanted it because I don't have one of those yet. And that's uh, this is what I got out of the egg. Was this one? Funny thing was, I didn't even need the one I got out of the egg because the egg hatched after the one that I actually caught in the wild. That's why I was walking down the street to the pirate game. So 
What I really wanted the 10k egg was like a scythe or something like that, but I guess Electro Buzz is what they really wanted to give me. This was the one for the egg though, I, I know it was. Because the other one was like 690 or something like that, and this one was ended being like 700. Nah. It's something a little bit higher than this. So I, just, I like uh, leveled it up once just to see what I can get to. Spiro, Krabby, Bell Spiro. I've already seen all this stuff, right? Yeah. Alright, so there's a couple more that we have. I'm trying to find them. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if I showed this to you guys. I evolved a EV one or two days ago. And this is my, like, last EV thing. Like, this is my last EV of the three evolutions. I mean, I'm going to do more in the future, but out of, like, all three that have all three. This is my highest. No leveling or anything like that. Straight up, it just spawned 1,022. And that's my best Pokemon right now. And, uh... Let's see, is there any other ones that we have evolved? I know there's one that I'm going to show to you guys. Okay, there's really no other ones that we evolved. But there is this one right here. LSD. I just named it that because it, it looked high. Kind of like something you'd see whenever you're hallucinating. And uh, I evolved some Venonats into a mo Vena Moth. I've been waiting to do this for a while, and I was kind of excited to do it. 5, 4, 3 isn't bad, but I mean, it's not, it's not the best either. Yep, so, I mean, that's it for our, uh, Pokemon, I guess. There's not really any other ones that are that exciting to show you guys. But anyway, we'll go into the eggs here. It's like 10k eggs are elusive and, you know, never will show up for you because I have found one and that's it. But my friend just got one recently, too, so I'm happy for him to get that. Maybe he'll catch that and get something other than an Electro Buzz. But uh, we have some 2k, a 5k, 5k egg action. Wish I had more incubators, but I'm not going to spend money on them. I don't feel like doing that. What's nearby? Nothing good. Yeah, but as you can see, now we're level 15. I just started it last night. Um, one thing is, it takes forever to level up now. It's kind of sucks. I'm so happy that whenever I leveled up, it gave me that lucky egg, because I'm going to save my evolutions, like EV ones and stuff, and then I'm going to use those... And I'm sure, I'm extremely sure that sometime later this week, I will be back at my friend's house using the model on that same Poké stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, there's nothing really else to hey, update here. That's basically it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, this is Kinkta Gaming signing off.